I'm muted. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Every time. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you see me like looking at myself weird in this video, it's because I got new lighting and I cannot believe the difference it is making right now. It's it's crazy. It's a $44 light I bought for reading and studying. And turns out it's pretty great for streaming too. So wild. <laughs> Wild. Anyways, welcome everybody. I am so glad that you are here if you are brand new to my channel. My name is Erin Bees. I am a wife, a mom, a military veteran. I spent 13 and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to have to work on this new intro. Let's rewind that. I'm also a soon-to-be certified personal trainer. I spent 13 and a half years in multi-level marketing, healed my way out, and now I'm using all of my social media platforms to educate and raise awareness around the dangers of multi-level marketing companies and the tactics used by their reps. Okay, let's run the disclaimer real quick. Be right back. Okay, and we're back. Yeah, lighting can make a big difference. Listen, I bought this light to study, to be able to see what I'm looking at here on my desk, but wow, unbelievable. And yeah, you heard that right, KD. You heard that right. I'm currently studying for it and uh, coming soon, in the next coming months. I'm taking my time with it, so sort of. <laughs> Welcome, if, especially if this is your first live. This is so cool. Welcome. So glad that you're here. And thanks, Katie. I appreciate you. Okay, so I don't know if you saw the thumbnail. I didn't. I really didn't know what else to call this other than prove it cringe because honestly, that's what it is. I have a, I don't want to say a collection, but I'm going to say a collection of shorter videos. And so I didn't want to do the like a prove it fail or something like that. So I just called it prove it cringe because that's what it is. The purpose of the video today is to point out how they are using manipulation to control their people, uh, specifically around front loading, specifically around, I wouldn't say that this is necessarily controlling them this part, but definitely wasting people's time for sure. What is the point of the live? <laughs> Not this, but you'll see soon in some of the clips. Um, also, you're going to see some serious desperation. The time of or the date of this video is the 29th of February. And so typically around this time is when we see specifically from Prove It that they will drop some sort of a sale and they will encourage front loading and, you know, the MLM, the MLMers are really going to start you know, getting desperate. And we're going to absolutely see that. I'm going to give you guys examples of all of that. Um, I'm going to give you a, I know we've watched a lot of Prove It training, but I hope that you can see or continue to see here on my channel and other creators channels that cover Prove It, the, uh, that it's just a man behind the curtain, you know, like the Wizard of Oz, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Yeah. We're, we're peeling back the curtain. You're going to see how in my opinion, terrible this training is. And uh, yeah, so, oh, thank you so much. That's so kind. That's super kind. Thank you. Oh, February, January, January 29th, January 29th. We're coming up on February. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> appreciate, appreciate you correcting me on that. Thank you so much. Okay. So this is the first video. And the reason I'm showing you this video is it's a perfect example of wasting people's time. Now, keep in mind the way that they talk about the distributors in this company is that they're business owners, very similar to other multi-level marketing companies. And this is them wasting people's time, calling it a training. So prepare yourselves. Let me find the right. There we go. Good morning, Prove It promoters. Melissa May here tuning in live from... I think Melissa May is like a rank 9 or rank 10 somewhere in there. She's 
eight, nine, ten, somewhere in there as far as uh, prove it. Snowy, cold Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. How are you guys today? I'm so, so excited today. So, y'all, we have a treat for you today. So if you are wanting to get into action today, if you are wanting to have fun today, if you are wanting to plant seeds today, if you are wanting to harvest those seeds and see the in bloom in the next 30, 60, 90 days, if you want to win some prizes, if you want to help as many people as possible today, then you are going to want to plug in to Prove It Promoter Facebook group today and the whole entire day today, you're going to want to get your team plugged into this. So go ahead and do me a favor. In the comments, let me know where you're tuning in from. Go ahead and tag a team member in the comments. Hello. Oh my God, the begging for engagement. Also, I was watching some of these clips, not all of them, but some of them uh, with some of the members earlier. And her, I'm going to use the word posture. Sorry if you were in rank makers. I know that word can be very triggering for many of you, but I'm going to say posture here. So her posture makes it seem like, you know, this is, this is for my people that have breasts. We're going to say it that way. Okay. <laughs> when you don't have a bra on or larger, larger breasts, <laughs> when you don't have a bra on and you're like, I don't want people to know that I don't have a bra on. So like, you're like, that's what this seems like to me. I don't know why. Is she cold? Is she uncomfortable? I have no idea. And we may never know, but that's what it looks like to me. Erin, hello, Kim. If we can get some peeps hello, tagged Aaron. in this video, today is something I'm so, 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 so very excited to bring to the Prove It community. It's a, such a fun day uh, to do this for us because we have the absolutely incredible BOGO deal going on on Nat Ketones. Did you guys see it? Did you get your BOGO? Hello, hello, hello. These are also older videos. I don't have any idea what the timestamp is on this. I know that one of the videos is around Christmas time this past year. I have no idea the timestamps because there have been so many of you that have sent me these types of videos. So thank you for that. Keep them coming. I appreciate you. And I definitely will share with all of my creator friends. So did you grab any good flavors on the BOGO sale today? Hello from Kentucky. Front Hi, loading. Laura. I see you. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Hello, Mel. Y'all, the BOGO sale is crazy. And I want you to know that today could be one of the most impactful days in your business. It could be one of the biggest days for personal sales. It could be one of the biggest days for personal production. It could be one of the biggest days for the number, the most number of people that you were able to help get connected with ketones. It could be the day where you've planted the most number of seeds for people who you are going to help in the future. It could be the day that your business completely takes off, that your team gets into motion and you show your team exactly what to do and how to do it and how to have fun while doing it. So if y'all are ready, I'm ready, I'm excited. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Go ahead and drop a fire emoji if you are fired up about the BOGO sale today. Drop a fire emoji if you're fired up about the BOGO sale. Drop, um, like, yes, tag your teams, that's amazing. Awesome, Jess, you're ready, you're ready, you're ready. So we're doing something in this Prove It Promoter Facebook group today. It's really important that your teams are plugged into this group today. Make sure you're sharing this live video with your teams because today a group of achievers in the company, a group of people who are leading the way, you'll notice their names, they've been on the, the leaderboards, they've been on stages accepting awards, and they're literally going to tell us exactly what to do today, okay? So we're doing a Go Challenge Day in the group today. And what this is, is at the top of every hour, from right now, 9 a.m. Eastern until 8 p.m. Eastern when we have our Power 30 action call, a promoter in our private community is going to come in to prove this Facebook group at the top of the hour, and they're going to give you a very specific action to take in that hour. They're gonna give you the script, they're gonna tell you why to do it, they're gonna tell you exactly what they want you to do, okay? 
You are going to complete that action in your business today. You're going to come back to that post, show us that you did it. The person who's the person who's leading each hour, they will tell you exactly how they want you to come back to follow up and let you know, let us know how you completed that action. Let's also remember that they say that when you join Prove It as a distributor, that you're a business owner. So they're essentially handing out homework to what they are what they refer to as business owners. So somebody is speaking and saying, okay, here's the action steps for today. Come back here, probably tell us in the comments what you did, how it went, and how we can, you know, support you. That's probably what that is. But they're business owners, you know. So get your get your homework done, business owners. What? <laughs> And we're going to be doing prizes as you complete the actions for oh. the day. Now, there's so many different reasons why you want to plug into this. Number one, it's fun. So you're begging for engagement from distributors in the company. You are offering prizes to bribe people to do the action steps for their business. Wild. These actions are going to be the actions that you could take in your business every single day. And like I said earlier in this video, you can literally create a massive amount of momentum in your business and with your team and with the people you're supposed to be serving and helping today. If you stay plugged in, if you take it seriously, if you commit to doing the action. So right now I want you to commit. I want you to commit. I know it's a busy week. I know Christmas is coming. But we have BOGO, we have people to help, we have people to share this conversation with. There are so many people that need us to go out there and share the conversation of ketones and how they can help them and how we can serve people today. And so we're gonna be intentional. No, God! No, God, please, no! Same, I feel the same way, Michael Scott, thank you. We're gonna be intentional and we're going to commit to doing the go challenge today. Oh, yeah. We're going to commit to completing the actions today, okay? So if you commit to playing full out. It's giving, listen, if you get the assignment done early, you'll have an hour of free time. It's giving, if you get this done, you're gonna get a gold star. That's what this is giving to me. Do you commit to playing full out? I want you to say, I commit in the comments. Y'all. Hey, it, DC, what's we're up? Not, I want you to understand that the actions that you take today, yes. DC, do you notice the new lighting? This was not intentional. And for those that have joined since I talked about it, I got this new reading light for when I'm studying to become a personal trainer because I sit at my desk and do that and listen to the audiobook while I'm reading the textbook. Do you guys do that, by the way? Anyways, um, I got this new light and it turns out I can use it for streaming and it looks like I keep looking at myself I'm not trying to be arrogant but the lighting is so different to me that I'm like what is happening <laughs> anyways let's keep going yes, you might get some results today but it's also creating momentum for the next 30 60 90 days if you want to have the biggest January you've ever had if you want to have the biggest February you've ever had if you want to have the biggest March you've ever had it starts right now it starts with you I'm going through ACE, which is what Susan went through. So very excited about it. Um, also a phone tripod. It doesn't cost much, you know, so there's that. You committing to the actions today and committing and showing yourself that you are the person who does what you say you're going to do. So if you commit to taking action in your business today, drop an I commit job. in the comments. And then I mean, if they... Why do you need them to commit over and over again? Why are we reciting affirmations? If they clicked the join as a promoter, they're committed to the business, right? Why, why is there? Oh, I know why. Because the turnover rate in multi-level marketing is so high because people figure out that they're not going to make any money. And most of the time it's costing them money. Got it. Got it. Got it. There are going to be challenges at the top of every hour. You're going to complete the challenge. Every hour? You're going to come back to the post. Show us with proof that you completed the challenge. How many of you think that the only reason that they put this out around the holidays at the end of last year, how many of you think it's because they were desperate for advertising? 
Because I'm kind of thinking, oh, well, that's interesting. Sure, maybe they're, you know, wanting to get as many sales and in promoters as they can because it was the end of the year. I get that. But also, I feel like Prove It's not doing so well. I feel like they're not doing so well. I think ch I, checks are dropping, I believe. It's been alleged to me. Uh, people are struggling, you know, and um, hopefully this is is good for the anti-MLM movement. Hopefully, prove it will be no longer. That would be great. That would be a great day for me. That would be quite the gift. Challenge. And we're going to draw winners. We're going to draw winners. There's going to be special winners for whoever completes every single action. Okay? There's going to be, I think, 12 different challenges today. I think we can we can all do it. We're going to try to get, we're going to keep them easy and simple. And these are going to be things that if you commit to this challenge today, uh -huh. these are the Thanks, actions you can take in your business that. every single day. This is how you grow this business. All right. And you're going to create exactly, Laura, super momentum, not just for today, not just for the BOGO sale, but for the next 30, 60, and 90 days. It all starts right now. Everything you do today is planting the seeds so that you can harvest, so that you can bloom in the next 30, 60, and 90 days. So if you're ready to do that, it's gonna be fun. I want guys to cheer each other on in the comments as you see other people completing actions. Let's celebrate each other. Let's make sure our teams are all in this Facebook group. Let's make sure you're tagging your team members that you want to complete this challenge today. And let's have a lot of fun with it. So, with that being said, I have challenge number one for you. All right, I have challenge number one for you. Guys, I haven't watched this to this part. What do you think the first challenge is? Put it in the comments real quick. I'll put on, I'll put on like a fun little, put it in the comments if you want. <laughs> what do you think the first challenge will be from Melissa May here and prove it? Okay, what do y'all think? I uh, know this is an, it's a ninja blender. You can't see it, there you go. It's a ninja blender. That's what I make my afternoon smoothie. All right, let's see. Be present. Message 10 people. Message 20 people. Inventory load. Make sure that you've ordered your own product from the BOGO. Yeah, that's a good possibility. A lot of reaching out to people. ATM, Facebook, Facebook group. What year is it? Not trying to offend. I mean, fair. A lot of people are still using ATM, which is crazy. Also, I was looking, I was having a conversation with uh, one of my Instagram followers, you know who you are, and I was made aware of this tool that points out when people have either inactive followers or they have bot followers on Instagram. And it's really interesting to see these people that have these large following and their interaction, their their um, engagement percentage. What is that? Why does that sound so weird? Why am I saying that so weird? Their engagement is like 0.25%. Yeah. It's very telling when two thirds of their following is inactive followers that haven't looked at their content in a very long time. <laughs> wow. But they're MLM coaches. But hey, I'm going to show you how to do this. But I have a, you know, less than half a percentage of an engagement rate and half of two thirds of my following is they're not looking at my content, but I'm going to show you how to grow your social media. John Melton, stop it. You can't engagement rate, thank you. It sounded weird. Be both grateful and fearful at the same time. And so I know for some of you, but I mean, you can, I mean, Human emotions are super complex. It's not. Uh, you might be scared. You might th say, oh, this is a lot. Hey, 12 actions, up? 12 challenges. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Or shoot, I know I'm going to have to get out of my comfort zone today. You are. You are going to have to get out of your comfort zone today. But if it's going to change someone's life, isn't that worth it? Right? Isn't it worth it to get out of your comfort zone to change someone's life? To Melissa, do tell us how Prove It is going to change somebody's life for the better. Oh, let me guess, the community? <laughs> okay. Let me guess, uh, drinking ketones? Yeah, no, no. You can find energy drinks. Heck, you could probably drink a cup of coffee and you get the same, you know, energy. 
please stop it. Help someone become better, for you to become better, for you to get closer to your own personal goals, it absolutely is. And so we cannot be both fearful and grateful. So going into this challenge, I want to get you in the right mindset. I want you to be focused on the exciting day ahead. Can we back up for a second and talk about the being fearful and grateful at the same time? Because I feel like I'm fearful and grateful at the same time. Fearful that there's going to be people that actually join this company or multi-level marketing companies as a whole. But I'm also grateful to have been able to tell my story and to get messages from many of you that are getting out of your multi-level marketing companies. Those two things can coexist, in my opinion. Ahead, not the challenge ahead, the yeah, exactly, excitement DC. ahead, okay? And so to do that, I want you to choose three promoters in the Prove It community, and I want you to send them a massive amount of- A gratitude message. Yeah. What is this, a working Zoom? So the 12 things that you're giving these promoters as homework. Send gratitude messages. Why are you trying to pull people out of being fearful and then you're going to tell them to go live? Listen, Melissa, did you come up with this idea? Was this your idea? Or did somebody say, hey, we're going to have Melissa May go live in, in, in this group or whatever at this time. And, uh, you know, she's going to talk about gratitude. She's going to give them the first task, which is to message three promoters within Prove It that they're grateful for. Come on. Of recognition and gratitude in the comments of this post and that's how we're going to verify that you completed this challenge do we see your name here so you're going to recognize three different prove it promoters people in our community who you appreciate who you're grateful Thank for you. tell them what you're appreciative of recognize someone celebrate you're an absolute warrior I love that you kicked cancer's butt. Write them in the comments. Celebrate three promoters below, okay? And then I want you to pick three people outside of the Prove It community. And I want you to share your gratitude. Oh, yeah, because you want to try and recruit them. So butter them up with something nice before you, you know, hey, we got this thing you may want to check out. For them. Send them a message, send them a text, give them a call, write them a note. But we're going to get into gratitude to start the day. And we're going to... Question for you guys. How do you feel about this? If you are being instructed to message somebody a gratitude, doesn't that take the goodness out of it? If you're just doing it to check a box and say, oh, I did it so that you can get in on this, whatever prize they're giving away, it's probably prove it merch. <laughs> Anyways, doesn't it take the good out of it? The goodness, if you will, I don't know what else I want to call that. But if you're really grateful for somebody, it shouldn't be and you want to express it. I feel like it shouldn't come from being directed to do that. That seems weird to me. Inauthentic. Okay. So fake. All right. Just wanted to chat with y'all about that. Do that by pouring love. You're, right? If you guys, if anybody was at Epic, who was at Epic? Ugh. Who was at Epic? Let me know in the comments if you were at Epic. But we're going to take our master co hands. We're going to take them and we're going to look at them. We're going to close our eyes and we're going to picture love coming. We're going to set the intention of love. Listen, I don't need to be at Epic to know that what she is doing here is super culty and it's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> of the energy and vibration of love coming out of our hands and into the hearts of people, okay? And we're going to do that with the Prove It community, three people in the Prove It community that you love, that you want to recognize, that you want to celebrate, that you're grateful for, and you're going to recognize them and celebrate them in the comments. And then three people outside of the Prove It community, you're just going to send a massive amount of pink light energy of love to them, send them a message of gratitude, let them know that you're thinking about them, let them know you're proud of them. Maybe it's a customer, maybe it's a family member, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a coworker. Make someone's day today, all right? <laughs> this comment.
I I can't. What in the Ouija board is this? Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, it's giving cult vibes. It's giving a no thank you. I've seen what I needed to see. <laughs> Y'all are funny. So that's what we're gonna do. Challenge number one. It's an easy, easy, right? Easy. We're gonna get our minds right. Okay, so we're gonna send some gratitude. We're gonna celebrate some people in the comments here. Let's love, send a massive amount of love to people. And this is something I want you guys to do throughout the whole entire day. As you're taking this challenge, as you're doing the actions, I want you to pause every time you get into action today and imagine the words you're typing, whatever you're saying, the words you're speaking, that it's all rooted in the pink love energy coming outside out of you just spewing out of you today all right you know what makes me laugh just watching this but not laugh like i'm making fun of her but like laughing because i'm uncomfortable in a way because imagine if you're a, a prove it promoter and you're watching this and they're giving you this task to message people and you didn't attend epic and this pink ball of light example that she's holding within her hands and like passing back and forth to other prove it promoters or whatever <laughs> that person didn't attend epic so they have no idea what you're talking about melissa because not everybody goes to these events which by the way you should you should not just in my opinion unless you want to hear the same playlist over and over again anyways um imagine that person didn't go to the the event and melissa is giving this like not even a very good example of what what happened at epic and people they had to have felt uncomfortable right it just seems a little a little odd also pause story please believe me please believe what i'm saying <laughs> Yeah, I like her cabinet pulls. I think they're cute. Oh, man. If y'all are excited, show me in the comments. Let's get the celebration started. Let's get the gratitude started and get ready for challenge number two. We'll be at 10 a.m. Eastern. All right, guys. Eastern. I don't know. I don't know why that's being pronounced that way. I'm not really sure, but that made my ears hurt a little bit. Um. I'm not making fun of her. It just made like it caught my attention. Like something is off here with how that was said. Anyways, I wish I would have been able to get all 12 of these videos and gone through the action steps because I bet what they did was they took working zoom activities and then they were like, okay, we're going to do a video for each one every hour. I bet that's what it is. I'm excited. It's going to be a great day. I'll celebrate you soon. That, that was awkward. What did y'all uh, think about that one? Yeah, also legit sales jobs don't practice this cultish BS. Agreed completely. But Aaron, you know the top leaders come home and have post-conference meetings where they continue to shove everything that was said down your throat. Yeah. They do a recap. What do they call it? They call them huddles. <laughs> yeah. They call them huddles like they're a sports team. <laughs> oh, that was awkward. Okay. So where do we want to go next? Guys, do we want the blue hat video? Or do we want a front loading video? And I wish you guys could see the name of the titles that I have for the clips that I've uploaded here because they're pretty funny. <laughs> Hi, mamas. What do we want next? The blue hat video, which many of you have not seen. Some of the members saw a part of it. I think it's 10 minutes long. Uh, yeah, a debrief. They call it a debrief too. Yeah. Let's have a huddle up. <laughs> oh. All right, we're going to go with the blue hat one because they're all unhinged, honestly, in my opinion. So, okay, this is the blue hat one. This is um, Kate. She'll introduce herself in a second. But um, 
this is a rad line video. If you have not seen the video that I did on rad line, not the last live stream, which was last Friday that I did with DC, but the, I think it was the one last Wednesday. I covered rad line. I used the NIH website as sources for creatine and um, BCAAs. I think it's important to talk about because they are trying to, to promote this product as something that everybody needs. Not everybody needs a pre-workout and also, you know, the proprietary blend of creatine and BCAAs and a bunch of other things doesn't really make any sense other than it's a cash grab in my opinion. So if you have not watched that and you want the scientific data, you can go and check that out after that. I have provided the sources in this video as well, but this is Kate and she's going to be talking about Radline. <laughs> and the purpose of me showing you this video is to point out the elementary style sales training, if you will. And I use air quotes a lot when I say training or business owners, because this isn't training, even though they think it is. And they're not actually business owners. They're 1099 contracted workers. So yeah. Okay. Let's watch it. All right. Okay. I think that we are live. I'm always nervous. Like, did we actually go live? Are we live? Okay. Hello, everybody. Improve it nation. Let me make sure. I always got to check and make sure. Are we actually live right now? Did this for sure work? Okay, I see myself. We're cool. All right, everybody. Kate Higdon here coming to y'all from Owensboro, Kentucky. I hope that you are loving these on the hour challenges. This, I believe, is challenge number five. That's what I labeled it as. So I hope that that's accurate. So we have the first, we have the fifth. So that's cool. Um, take my glasses off so I don't have a glare. I am here to give you an action step to get her audio is hard to hear. Hmm. I don't think I can do anything here on my end. Ready? Um, first thing I want to share with you is what's my favorite rat line flavor? So we. Why are you putting your hands in front of your face like that? What? What? What are we doing? Why are you doing that? Are you uncomfortable? And I'm genuinely asking this. This is not me making fun of this individual. It's it's behavior that doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, are you are you trying to how do I want to word this? Are you trying to appear like cutesy? I I just I don't understand what we're doing here and it just when there's behavior that seems out of sorts, I, I'm i going to comment on it. And that felt really out of sorts. Why? I don't know. And we may never know. But it, I just want to point that out. Also, we have a new member. Welcome, Ashley Jones. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Um, Hold on. I'm going to... Welcome, welcome. Make sure that you check the community tab so that you can join the Discord if you would like to. We have a good time in there. And thanks for becoming a member. We were told to put on our the color that matches our favorite flavors. So, right, we've got orange um, creamsicle, we've got cherry limeade, and we've got blue raspberry. As you can see, I'm very gray right now. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to put on what my favorite flavor is. Are you all ready? Okay. Taking off the hat. Don't look at my hat here. We're taking this off. And I'm going to show you what my favorite. Hey, Brittany, check this out, y'all. This represents it's my weird, right? favorite flavor, blue raz, which I, I think I'm just a blue raz in general person because blue raz is my favorite keto up too. So blue raspberry, uh, blueberry raspberry, whatever, blue raspberry is my favorite, right, Brittany? And check this out. I don't know why I did not wear this in Mexico. This is fantastic. All right, let's get into action. Let's get into action. So what I'm going to be sharing with you all is something. Keep in mind, this is supposed to be a business training. <sighs> that I always do when um, something 
special drops. And the great thing about Radline is this is not the first <laughs> time that it is actually dropped. We have had Radline, I think, available two other times. So what I'm going to be sharing with you is how to reach out, first of all, how to find the people who have ordered it in the past. Oh my God. She's going to show people how to pull up their back office information. Cool. Okay. And reach out to them to make sure that they know that they can get it again today. Because I, I promise you, if you don't do this, when the sale is over, those people are going to message you and be like, Hey, do you know when Radline's going to be for sale again? And you're going to be like, did you not see my posts? Did you not see my, my stories and my live? No, they don't see that y'all. They don't see all the stuff that you're putting out there. So we have to. And why is that Kate? Why are they not seeing your lives? Why are they not seeing your posts? Why are they not watching your stories? Just sit in that for a minute and ask yourself that question. Why they're not watching. They don't want to. They don't want to watch it. They're tired, maybe, of, of seeing Prove It ketones. They're tired of seeing the health claims. They're tired of it. And shout out to the anti-MLM movement. Because the anti-MLM the anti movement is just getting louder. So people don't want to see it. To privately message them, and you're doing them a huge favor by messaging them. So we're going to message the people that have ordered Radline, but you know who else we're gonna message? Let's who, think about us. the people in our back office that we can search our insights people. and find the ones who, they like something a little extra. Oh. They like that little oomph, okay? So the people that like that little extra oomph, what are they probably ordering? I'm gonna say they're probably ordering some black label, okay? And they're probably keto kick keto kickers, which Brittany Anderson, I see you watching. I know you are a keto kicker. I know you love your keto kick. Okay. So we're going to find. Okay. Question. If keto kick, well, first of all, if keto nat is so amazing, why do they need keto kick? If keto kick, which is the little like five hour energy bottles, if, if keto kick is so amazing, why do they need Radline? And they say that their mitoplex has creatine in it. Why do they need cre more creatine, allegedly, in uh, in Redline? Oh, because it's a cash grab. Got it. Those people, and we're going to send them messages. So I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to have my phone up. Hold on, y'all. I'm 48. Let me put my glasses on. I'm getting older. 43 right, here. Okay. Shout out yes, to 40 year -olds. They are legit, Samantha Ann. And congratulations on your new baby. Congratulations, I love that. girl. Okay, everybody go in and say congratulations to Samantha Ann. She just had a baby. And we love that. All right, so we are going to log into our back office. Um, so that's number one. All right, I'm going to show you how to find the rad line people, the black label people, and the keto kick people. And then I'm going to give you specific messages to send them. Okay. I love when they give scripts. Because people just copy and paste it. <laughs> it's not effective at all. So we are logged in here. I'm going to go and click manage. And I'm going to click community. All right. Here we are. We're in community. Next thing I'm going to click is <laughs> insights. I'm going to click insights. Okay. Now we got insights. Hey, Kate, next time you do this, you know, it would be a very effective way to do that. Just to screen record what you're doing as you're pressing different things. And there's also apps out there that you can use where you can narrate what you are doing. So now I'm going to click on this. And then instead of you trying to put your phone up like this, you can actually add like, you know, the media, the screen recording so that people can actually see it and pause it and then go to their back office and then pause it. You know, that would be a more effective way to do this, I feel like. Also, isn't there already training videos on the back office or no? I'm going to yeah. click order. This is always backwards. Order history. Order history. Okay. And by the way, this is all going to be in the caption. So we've got order history. Next thing is we're going to click filter. True, we RB. Filter who has ordered Radline, who has ordered Black Label, who has ordered Keto Kick. 
those are our humans. Those are the humans who are gonna want a little extra oomph, okay? They are your target, they're warm. They're hot, they're beyond warm. They are your hot market. They are what if they haven't ordered in like a year? Are they still your warm market? Are they still your hot market? Because I don't, I don't think that's how that works. For your hot market, right? Ah, thanks, Catherine. This represents my blue raspberry love. Okay, so here we are. Now I'm going to scroll down here to where it says product name. Product name. Where's that? Right there. Okay, product name. And inside there, I'm going to type Radline. Now, for those of you that are brand new, I get you're like, I don't have anybody who's ordered that. That's okay. Let me tell you something. You might be new right now, but in a month. I feel like this is an SNL skit. That's genuinely what I feel like as I'm watching this. As she, just listening and watching how she is talking to people that this is supposed to be business owners. We know that they're not, but this is not children you're talking to. I just find it really odd. A month from now, you're not going to be new. In 60 days from now, you're not going to be new. In 90 days from now, you're not going to be new. And you're going to want to know how to find people who have ordered specific things from you. So this is still a great training for you to learn. All right. So, okay. So I've typed in Radline. And when I scroll down, I can see the different people who have ordered it from me in the past. And I'm gonna share with you, I'll put it in the comments, but it's also in the caption, what we're going to send them, okay? Let me oh my God. This. Hopefully y'all can still see me and it did not right? just. That's totally how I feel watching this. Like what? What are we doing? Right. What are we doing here? Bring y'all back up. Okay, perfect. Putting this in here. I looked okay. away for a few minutes. Hey Sally, by the way, change the name made that mistake several times. Oh hey Sally, so excited. Um, I know you love the rad line. Last time it came out and wanted to make sure you didn't miss this limited release. All three flavors are currently available but will sell out fast. Also, if you are VIP, you're going to get a discount. I mean, if you're pulling their information in the back office, wouldn't you be able to see if they're VIP or VIP plus or whatever they're calling it? Wouldn't you already have that information there or no? And use those points if you have them and you want to give them specific, you want to give them the link. Don't make them like go figure out how to log into their account. Give them the link, tell them to go log in to their account. So you're reaching out to them because, and you're telling them, I know that you loved Radline. And here's another little pro tip on that. In the past, you couldn't get all three flavors. Okay, so this is a big deal for them. So we're gonna reach out to all of those people, all right? Next thing we're gonna do is go back. Once we've reached out to people who have ordered it in the past, we're gonna reach out to all the people who have ever ordered Black Label. So I'm gonna come back up on my phone and I'm gonna click where Radline was and I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna type in Black Label, okay? Black Label. And it's going to pull up all the people who personally have ordered Black Label from me. And you can change this to see more. So if I want to see. This, this could have been done in such a more effective way. A hundred. I can pull all those people up who have ever ordered Black Label and I'm going to send them a special message. I'm going to do the same thing with the Keto Kick because, again, these are people who like a little extra oomph. They are prime, primed hot market. Prime what? Were you about to say victims? Prime targets? Come on. For Radline, okay? And then we're going to send them a little special message, and I'm going to share with you guys. Is it the same that. script? Now, my messages sound like me. So... These messages are meant for you guys to take and for you to, um, oh, I think it's like going to cut out my community fingers. Okay, never mind. I think it's like not going to let me post the Prove It website in there. Um, but know that these messages are in the caption. Make sure I got that. 
Okay, so my message sounds like me. These scripts are for you to take them and modify them to sound like you, okay? Be authentic, be genuine. We're not a copy-paste company. We're an authentic, genuine. I'm sorry, you're not a copy paste company, but you're giving people scripts to copy and paste into their messenger to people. That's what you're going with. Cool. You and company. So cool. take it and modify it to sound like you. I'm a little wordy. Shocker. Yeah. I'm a kind of a chatty Kathy. Other people, like they get it done in like two or three sentences. Boom, 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 send. I'm not that way. And if I did, people would be like, oh, that doesn't really sound like Kate, right? I have to be authentic and genuine to myself. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> so those are our action steps. Y'all, simple, simple, simple. We are going to log in. We're going to go to community. You're going to go to manage. You're going to click insights. Change that little box to order history. Click filter and type in Radline, then type in Black Label, then type in Keto Kick, and message those people that it is available today and you don't want them to miss out. doesn't matter to, to you if they get it or not. You just didn't want them to miss out. So hopefully that was helpful. I'm Team Blue. Um, let me know what team you're rooting for in the comments. Big battle today, big battle. And I hope you guys crush the day. Bye, everybody. Okay, that was uh, that was Kate with the blue hack. She likes blue raspberry from the thumbnail. Uh, okay, a genuine question. Or the general technical knowledge improve it so low that any persons are learning anything from this? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I... I, I don't know that I can answer that, but I understand. I mean, it's a great question. I just, I don't know. I just think it's pretty condescending. Oh my God, that's like a hundred steps. That was something. <laughs> Imagine that hat as your something blue at your wedding. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna, uh, we're gonna watch a front loading video. This is Megan George. In case you don't know, she is a part of the Empire. And um, also, I didn't say this at the beginning, but don't go find these people on social media. Don't do not do that. Don't, don't touch the poop, as DC says. Don't do that. Um, yeah, you can comment here. But don't go harass them. Not that any of you would, but in case there's somebody's watching that's like i'm going to go check them out don't don't go harass them that's that's not what we're doing here okay don't do that all right so megan george is in the empire and uh in my opinion she has used her challenges with infertility as part of her brand so i don't know that she goes into that on this video but just in case i want to give a content warning because that is something that she talks about I don't know if she mentions that she has PCOS or something like that, but I do know that she uses her her story of infertility and then getting pregnant and having her son as part of her brand. So um, I have seen her pitch ketones to people that are trying to conceive and that are having their own challenges with infertility, and it's disgusting. So that's who we're going to watch next. This is Megan George. I don't know what rank she is. Hello, 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 Prove It Nation or Prove It community. I don't really know what we call ourselves around here, but I That's am weird. super happy to be here with you. My name is Megan George. I'm coming to you guys live from O'Fallon, Missouri, which is in uh, the St. Louis area. So as you guys are tuning in and you guys are watching this, let me know if you guys are catching this live, drop me a one down below. If you guys are watching this on the replay, drop me a two. Tell me where you guys are coming in from because I like to see where our provers are at. I like to see where, I really like to see where more St. Louis people are at because we should be homies and do some more stuff together. But I digress. I'm here to talk about Radline and I'm here to rep my favorite. The content warning was in case she mentions um, infertility and how she thinks that ketones helped her to get pregnant. Anything around that topic, please be prepared for that just in case. 
I don't know that it's going to come up, but I would r rather mention it so that you guys are aware and can do what you need to do. Red. Also, yeah, homies. Cool. Flavor, the cherry limeade. You guys tell me what flavor did you snag down below in the comments? If you have not snagged your own yet, this is not part of my go challenge. But I need you to like pick up the pace and go snag your own flavor, okay? This is going to be one of our hottest products, I'm convinced, going into 2024. And this is exactly how they encourage their own distributors to front load. That right there. Make sure that you get your own. Make sure that you're a product of the product. When there's a new flavor that drops, a new product that drops, they expect, in my opinion, the, the distributors to be the first ones to buy it. Prove it gets their money. The new distributor starts talking about the new product. They do, you know, maybe a, a live where they're tasting the product or they're hosting something in their home or somebody else's home. They're getting all of the free advertising because the majority of people in these companies don't make any money. So that distributor is working really hard and going live and posting and putting the information about the new product, the new flavor, whatever in their stories and prove it's getting all of the advertising. And they're not having to pay that person. So this is a perfect example of what happens within this company in particular, based on my own personal experience. This is how they encourage people to front load. What people will typically do is they will go and they'll order under a ghost account that is under their spouse's name, their kids' names, their pets' names. That's that's what they do so that they can earn commission because you don't earn commission, at least with how the comp plan was before, um, on your own personal orders. So you order it under a ghost account, which I'm pretty sure in their own policies and procedures, you're not supposed to be doing, but they do. They do. Yeah. So let's keep it going. Which means you want to be showing it and drinking it and be a product of the product yourself. So if you have not snagged some, I would go and snag some. Go. And I'm just saying I would grab the red and be team red. Okay. I don't know what Brian's talking about with the blue. It's okay. It's okay. But I like the red. So you guys tell me what flavor you are down below in the comments. I hope you guys are having fun with the flavor battle. I hope that you showed what flavor you grabbed in your story. It creates conversation. I would be posting that in there until Radline is gone, which might be tomorrow. It's while supplies last. And uh, I heard that we don't have like that much of it. So you might want to hurry. But Megan, they say that every time. And you and I both know that they always come up with more product. The sale is always extended through the first of the month. Sometimes the second or the third. We heard Dustin Schaefer say that on last Wednesday's video. So cute. Very, very cute. You know, oh, we, I, I heard they, do, they don't have a whole lot of it. Right, Megan. Right. I'm here to give you guys a challenge. If you guys are ready, drop ready down below in the comments and let me know. If you're one of, I have three people on this live right now. If you're one of the three people that are on here, I want you guys to tell. I don't know how many people are in this group or whatnot that she's talking about, but three people are watching. Megan, that should tell you something. That should tell you something. Tag a bunch of friends right now in the comments because we love doing these things for you guys. Um, the, the leadership core does, but we want more of you guys to see it because the whole excitement of this is that when you do more action, you win more and we want you. Well, but here's the thing, Megan, if I may, you're saying, listen, the leaders are showing up for you guys because we want you to win more. But when you look at the income disclosure statement, who's actually winning Megan? Oh, it's the top percentage of people improve it. And so the people that you are shaming, in a sense, because they are not on the live that you think that they should be on. I'm not sure what time of the day it is. It looks like it could be dark outside where you're at. Uh, not really sure. But shaming people to get them to try to do something is really not effective. And you're trying to package this like, oh, it's really about you guys. We want you to win. <laughs> no. When those people go in and they buy whatever product, Prove it decides to put out or whatever flavor or whatnot. The upline is who gets paid off of that. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're, as my best friend, Julie Joe says, if you're going to lie, at least be good at it.
you to win more. So tag your homies down below in the comments. I don't know why I keep uh, saying homies, but uh, yeah, are you guys ready for a challenge? So what challenge I'm going to give you today is to share the conversation and follow up with your customers. Now, here's the thing. We have an amazing script and it goes a little something like this. Or scripts. Yeah. But they're not a copy and paste company, according to Kate. Right. They're not a copy and paste company. So it says, hey, name, I know you're loving ketones. We have one of our newest technologies available today. Would you like me to send details on how it can optimize your experience? And then you can send them over the video. How is Radline going to optimize somebody's experience? <laughs> is it the creatine? Is it the BCAAs? Also, what do you mean optimize their experience? Because you're just adding water to a bottle and then shaking it up. But when you're drinking keto nat, you're putting water in a bottle, adding a packet and shaking it up. Literally the same kind of process. So how is that optimizing? They like to use the word optimizing because it sounds fancy in my opinion. We're going to optimize the experience, guys. Video with the benefits of Radline that we did last night with Dr. Ryan and Dustin Schaefer. If y'all love those videos uh, where Dustin is giving all the product info and Dr. Ryan and him tag team it, drop me a heart down below in the comments and let us know. I love using them as resources to connect people to. So hopefully, if you are somebody that is looking at taking an MLM product of any kind and you are sent a video of a doctor or somebody that says that they're a doctor, there's one thing you need to ask yourself. What kind of doctor is it? Is it a chiropractor? Is it somebody that got a, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm not going to give another example, but ask yourself and research what kind of a doctor it is. Because Looking into Jacob Wilson, the doctor, one of the doctors with Prove It, has been quite interesting. Dr. Lowry will be next. It's been quite fascinating. They lean on these two doctors to deliver the science of the products. But I don't know. It's a little sketchy to me. Y'all saw that script earlier from your leaders, and you guys have been sending that to your current customers. Also, Hannah brought up a good point. If they're an MD, has their license been revoked? That's that's important. What was the company that the license has been revoked? Hold on, it's coming to me. Is it Q Sciences? Yeah, I don't remember his name, but he was actually, he's no longer a part of the company, but his license was revoked. I'm gonna say allegedly, even though it's public information, for inappropriate relationships with his patients. And then he became some sort of a naturopathic doctor. And instead of having patients, he then had clients. So ask yourself some questions. Don't just believe what you what you are seeing from the distributor. Ask yourself, what kind of a doctor is this? Look into their credentials. That's very, very important. And also, anyone with a doctorate is a doctor. Many aren't medical. So just... Wanted to throw that out there just in case. Customers, it's a great way to reach out to them or you can voice message them. This is one thing I love doing. I love voice messaging my current customers because they're, my current customers are my friends. Mm. We are like actually like this. Mm, yeah, nothing like making money off of your friends. This, okay, if you're not like this with your customers yet, you should get like this. And I voice message my friends. So oh. I've been voice messaging my current customers and saying, hey, in 2024, one of my goals is to become more fit. So I'm going to be implementing a lot more movement, a lot more workouts. And you help me stay accountable on my journey. And I love having you as a part of my, like, as a part of my journey, just as much as I love being a part of yours. So I'm just wondering if you want to level up with me in 2024. I'm just going to say this. Not everybody wants to be a part of your accountability. Sometimes maybe people just buy a product because, I don't know, they were interested or whatever. They didn't sign up to be your accountability buddy. That's so weird to me. 
And when they say, yes, I'm all in with whatever you're doing, then I'm giving them the video and saying, hey, well, I want you to check this out because I'm going to start implementing this product in along with the movement that I'm doing. Oh, so you're baiting and switching on these people. Hey, I'm looking for somebody, you know, you've always held me accountable. And, you know, I know you have a lot of the same goals. So, you know, I'm adding this. You should, too. So somebody's agreeing to becoming in this example she's giving. Is this a real example? We don't know. But if it were an, a real example, this person is agreeing to being your accountability buddy, thinking they're going to hold you accountable for your workouts and your nutrition, which that should be on you as an individual, not necessarily somebody else. And uh, then you're going to bait and switch them. Like, oh, good. You're going to be my accountability buddy. Cool. This is what I'm adding to it. You should do. That's that's deceptive. That's yucky. Yes, I said yucky. I don't like it. Also, if if this is if this scenario is real, I hope this person is running away. <laughs> the sound at the end, I can't. So check this video out and let me know if you're interested at all. So whatever two ways that you want to connect with them, connect with them either the script or a voice message. Now, if we've already been doing this today, you're gonna follow up with them. And I'm gonna put these scripts in the caption of the video and the follow-up says, hey, I know it's a crazy busy time, but wanted to check in and see if you were able to check out the video. I have a few coupons left to share for you to grab some Radline 50% off. Did you want a coupon to use? Question. You're not even gonna give them a chance to respond you're just going to go right in for the close <laughs> oh because y'all are friends right so that makes it okay gross Mark, you always want to end in the question so i'm doing that and what i'm doing for the coupons is i am sharing my did she just i swear it sounded like she said coupons i Maybe I misheard her, but that's what it's like to me. <laughs> I prove it points. If y'all have some prove it points to use, you guys get those notifications in your back office or in your Pulse app that says, you have 411 points expiring today. I want to share those. Those are like little gifts that I can give my customers who have been amazing and been such an integral part. Integral, is that the right word I'm using? Whatever. Uh, it's very important piece of my business and why my family gets to live the life that we do and why I get to do what I love. And so I want to actually, Megan, the reason that you are living the life that you are is because you have a large team. It's not because of the customers. And if it is, show us the difference in your income. You don't even have to, you could just give percentages. You don't have to show us the numbers because, you know, income claims. But show us the difference. The money that you're making off your customers. So take your check. And, and percentage that out. The amount of customers and the money that you make specifically off of customers alone. And then do the same for your team. Show us the difference. Because if you have this many customers, then there shouldn't be much of a difference, right? But I know there is. So I'd love to see it. I share those with them. And so what I've been doing... I know this is a bunch of different parts, but the challenge is that you're going to follow up with your customers and share coupons with them if you have them. If that makes sense, drop me a five down below in the comments. How I've been finding my customers to message is I'm going into my Pulse app. Go down to community, and then this, if you go from leads over to customers right here, you're going to I have the perfect sound bite for that. Show me the money! see where it says hot cold and loyal these loyal people are your longest consecutive smart chick smart loyal ship streak holders message those people first say hey i really appreciate you being on smart ship if they're vip plus you know that they get a bigger discount so if they are vip plus then you can give them a $12 coupon, which is 120 points. I'm going to put this in the caption of the video too. So if you like this idea, you can come back. $12 a box, 120 points. If they're VIP, not plus, so they can buy on SmartChip today, turn your SmartChip on and get VIP, uh, the VIP pricing, they can 
you can offer a $17 coupon for 170 points. So $17 equals 170 points. And that gets them 50% off of a box. So if you have people who are interested in the BOGO sale, hey, BOGO is 50% off a box. I can give you 50% off Radline. You want to give it a whirl? This creates a bigger... You want to give it a whirl? I, I love the... And this is sarcasm, obviously. The presenting it in a way that like it's so easy and lays, laid back. Hey, you want to give it a whirl? conversation you're using your points not letting them expire you're giving people a gift which makes them feel really good especially during this season and they're, you're getting that new technology in their hands so that they can go along on this journey with you if you're trying it for the first time too do tell us how it's a new technology yeah bcaa's and creatine have been around forever also bcaa's they don't do anything there's no significant studies that show that they do anything how is it a new technology? Or is that because Brian wanted people to have a different experience? So they're putting it in a plastic bottle instead of a paper pouch that they call sachets. <laughs> Stop. So what I want you guys to do as part of this challenge is I want you to pick five customers. Who comes to mind that you want to take on this journey with you of you incorporating Radline, they're incorporating Radline with you and you guys are doing it all together. Five people that come to the top of your mind, you know, your favorite customers or your five friends that you can get to sign up for smart ship today and then offer them 50% off a box. So you can use your. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> points, not let them expire and share them with your friends. Five people. I want you guys to message them either the starter script or your voice message script. Or the follow-up script. If you've already messaged that initial script, you're going to do the follow-up script to let them know that you have a coupon. So, five people. Once you're done, come drop your screenshots down below in the comments. Make sure you guys tag your friends in this video and let them know about this Go Challenge because there's tons of good information in here for y'all to be selling pallets of Radline because it's it's the product. How can they sell pallets of Radline if there's not that much available, Megan? How does that work? That is going to, I mean, y'all, by the next next year at Epic, we're all going to look so crazy good because we all drink in Radline. So, oh, but it's it's not about weight loss, is it, Megan? Cool. I'm super excited about this. I hope you guys got value from this. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, goodbye. Uh, I think that that was a perfect example of front loading and how they do it and how they say it and. Unfortunately, there's people that fall for it, and that sucks. It really does. Yeah, one thing MLM taught me how not to run a business. Exactly, Chelsea. Exactly. Okay, this last one is, there's two parts. This is a story that was sent to me from somebody. This is also somebody in the Empire. Her name is Brooke Porch. She is somebody that I don't know that I've really covered her but she was a nurse in another state. She moved to Texas to be closer to Jesse Lee. And a lot of them make it sound like, oh, this is what I do full time, meaning prove it. But the timeline and what was being said at the same time, I may have to do a, another video on this, but essentially what she did was she went back to working as a nurse in the state of Texas. And if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, she said that, did she say she let her license lapse? I don't remember now. So let me not say that, but she was saying that Prue was her full-time income for her family and then just started working as a nurse in Texas. So yeah, love that. That's sarcasm, by the way. But uh, this is... Oh, let's see this one. I think this is a story. So just brace yourselves. Oh, the, and why am I showing this video? This is an example of the desperation at the end of the month that we see typically. Ah, thank you. Aaron, Shantae, Shant 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 you say, Brian, you prove it, sashay away. <laughs> Thank you so much. I probably butchered that, but thank you. I appreciate you, Reed. Your help. I need to get to 27 new customers. 
by the end of the month. 27 new customers by the end of the month. Um, ask, well, I'll take them out in a minute, okay? No, it's heavy, Vin. It's, no, I'll get it. I'll get the potatoes when I'm done here. Thank you. I make potatoes in the oven and the timer went off and he comes and he's got the oven mitts. He's like, mom, do you want me to take the, the potatoes out? They're done. Oh, I can't. He's so cute. Okay. Also read. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. And y'all usually I'm at like 20 or 30, but it's been a rough month. Okay. And I'm just going to put that out there. Why are you talking like that? Is he really taking them out? First of all, I don't know if the potatoes are done. Brooke, why are you talking like that? I got them out. <laughs> Thanks for taking them out. <laughs> God. He's the coolest. Mia is. Mia, him and Mia are the coolest. And so I have eight new customers and I need 27. So if you've been thinking about spend $20 on a cat game. Oh, what? A cat game. Is it your own money? Yes. All right. Is it on the card? Sorry, parenting. Can you please come in or out and not stand there like that? I was nervous. Nervous okay. about what? Okay. So I grabbed the size and I put the mittens on there. Okay. Can't wait. Hang on one second. Can y'all hear him? <laughs> okay. Now tell them. Just tell them. I, I, I grabbed the side and I put my hand under. I was like, okay. Put it out. Okay. Right there. It's one of the big Pyrex casserole dishes. Okay, I got this. Okay. Right there. Okay, I'm done. Thanks for doing that. You didn't have to do that. I just put them on the table. No, don't put them on the table. What? Did you put them on the table? No, which table? Did you put them on the stove? No. Where'd you put them? I put them on like the... Table right the counter? There. Yeah, right to the left. Okay, put them on the stove. Okay. Thanks for helping. I appreciate that. Yeah. He put it on the table. I had a little panic moment. Thanks for helping. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, it's straight out of the. It's straight out of the oven. That's okay. It's all right. He's fixing it. We're good. Oh, God. It suddenly just got really hot in here. <laughs> He's trying, and I'm so grateful. Not buying ketones, and you're like, I've been wanting to try them. I'll give you a coupon. <laughs> Why? Why? I know. See what he did there? That's okay, though. It's his own money, so... Yeah, time to teach him about trivets for sure. Listen, Linda, I need your help. I need your help. I have to. It's just for bragging rights. I don't get anything extra monetarily. Brooke. You don't get anything extra if you get 27 new customers. Brooke. You don't make a commission on that? Because we know you do. What are you talking about? You don't you don't get a a monetary compensation for selling a product? Yes, you do. For bragging rights only. I just love a good competition. If you love a good competition, help your girl out, okay? So uh I yes, I need help. I need help. If you've never tried ketones before. You know, I don't, I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand why. I... And you're like, I've been wanting to. Please, let's do this now. Now's the time. That's part one. Here's part two. Need 19 by Wednesday. Let's go. Let's go. I've done way harder things. And listen, bitch, we can do hard things around here. Okay, so. I mean, that is a caption or a censoring fail.
Come on, come on, get all the times that you've always been like, I really would like to try them. I really would like to try those. Oh, those look so good. They seem to taste so good. They look so refreshing. I wanna have more energy. I wanna have clearer skin. I wanna feel amazing. I want my uh, actual mind to work right. Our minds are, are working just fine. Thank you. What? I want my mind to work right. Your brain called and said, hey, man, we got it. We're good. <laughs> oh, hello. Now's the time. Now's the time. You can even get a 20 pack in 10 different flavors. You don't have to get a big old bundle and go all in, even though I suggest that. But if you just want to get one box, you get. Oh, you don't you don't have to go even though you don't have to, you know, buy a big bundle, even though I suggest that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 10 different flavors and 20 packets and it's on a deep discount because I can give you no a $20 off coupon on top of the sale so come on and help a girl out I need 19 people come on uh, Brooke why did you post this why did you do this Absolutely not. The desperation, man. The desperation. Unbelievable. Yeah, I thought she needed 27. Now it's 19. Yeah. Also the black scent. Let's stop. Let's stop doing that. Okay? Not appropriate. It's gross. It's not cute. It's not funny. The caption translation, a deep, loose comb. I love that. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. Well, prove it cringe. I think I titled this appropriately. Let me know in the comments if you think so, if you agree, or if you don't agree, that's okay, too. Yeah. And um, I don't even I don't even know what else to say. But here we are. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did it. We definitely did it. I should play that. Um, also, I'm going to play this one, actually. Because what we learned today is not to be dead. Well, first, don't join an MLM. Don't be desperate at the end of the month. Don't encourage people to front load so that you can financially benefit. And uh, begging for engagement, not a good look. And also, what was the other thing? Don't use tattoo filters. So, the more you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gold stars for everybody. Y'all are amazing. I appreciate you guys so much. If you have not already liked and subscribed to the channel, it'd be cool if you would do that. It helps me get this information to who needs to have it so that they don't join companies like this. If you loved the new lighting, would you do me a favor? And once this video posts in the comments, would you put like a little light bulb or something, you know, a gold star, <laughs> you know, so just something that is like fun. That'd be pretty cool. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to go make our... Okay, the recipe is called crack chicken potatoes. I don't think I've made this one, but the chicken's in the crock pot. The potatoes were in the oven. So now I just have to put everything together so that we can eat. And then I'm going to come right back here and I'm going to do studying, some studying in my new light. And I can change this. I have to show you guys. Let's see, where is it? I can change like the tone. Look, like some reading light. This is on the lowest setting. Oh, Susan, what is up? I got new lighting, in case you wanted to know that. Anyways, I like that one right there. So, anyways, uh, appreciate you guys. Thanks for being here. And I will see you on the next live, which will be Wednesday. Same, same bat time, same bat place. <laughs> okay, talk to y'all later. <laughs> Bye, everybody.